Yeah, this is just the back end of where I was earlier. Yep. So, going down to the quarantine labs is really the same thing as just going downstairs. I don't even think I looked at the barracks or that down way. I don't know. I just want to finish this damn mission. I see some stuff I can take. Probably not that great. Oh, you bastard. Sneaking up on me like that. Yes, yes, yes. Stop asking me stuff. Well, that's fine. In between episodes, I'll probably go ahead and get rid of all that. I'm probably not going to get too much more stuff. Alright. And last place is over here. system is online and ready to provide emergency services. What are you doing over here? I administrate the systems of all of the various Peak 15 facilities. I form the core logic for Rift Station's automatic treatment system. What treatments have been attempted? I'm afraid treatment is not possible. An unknown toxin is present within the tissues of each patient. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. Okay. Don't know what that did, but whatever. Enemies shot it. I don't know what to say. This like walking back and forth kind of stuff. Mm, not too exciting. At least shooting people is remotely entertaining. But I mean, this feels like a larger distraction from what they should be doing. Like I don't really care about the fate of the labs. My goal is to get Venezia, and I think that everyone in this port should be under arrest who had any involvement with allowing Matriarch Benenzia, Benenzia, whatever her name is, to get away with what she's done. But that's just my opinion. I think it's kind of bullcrap that they are not just like, uh, yeah, you're harboring a fugitive. Like, lock her down, keep her in place, not allowed to use spaceport. through there in the ventilation room because so I came up to there. Alright. There's another secure lab in here. Let's quick save. Uh. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair, her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. We don't have to fight. You can return to the Citadel with us. I think not.
figure that I couldn't just shoot her. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will... You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. Yes, we've been over this. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the Mew Relay. He believes it will lead him to Ilos and the Conduit. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the Relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. Okay. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. There isn't much time. I transmitted the coordinates to Saren before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You, sh you should... Oh. You should... Die. Let's just take a minute to unlock a box. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... 
No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> well then. Hold on. Let me guess now I'm going to fight this. I, I realize my screen's crooked. Once again, Mass Effect's window decided to scroll over and move in the wrong place. So you're seeing a portion of my de desktop. Desktop. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Ugh, damn, I can't fix it. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We Ugh. pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hope to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. We'd be making a whole race extinct. And I want that on my conscience when I go to the final judgment. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. You could have calmed them if I hadn't set off the purge? No. Our minds are not as yours. We can only learn to sing in harmony. Without a mother, children are lost to silence. You should not sing of them in gray and violet. We would have stilled them ourselves. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place. The last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. Mm. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. Are you stupid? 
Your people didn't fight these bastards, so maybe you don't get it. You're right. I can't let the Queen live. We will not embrace the Great Silence. Good night. Renegade, yeah, right. Alright, this episode, there we go, now that's fixed, thank you. And this game is glitched out enough for this episode. Uh. I can't go back? Ugh, son of a bitch. No. game. Alright, well this episode's gone on too long. So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Mass Effect with me, Mark Dice. See you later.